Now, so this video is going to be about these Lomo medium size panniers, 13 litres, fully waterproof. And I'm going to show the video how I had to get these mounted to the bike and the rack I had to build. So that's my two wind setup with my luggage on. Now the problem I've got is the panniers are absolutely massive on this bike. They're too big. And I've got a 58 litre top box. So everything I can get, I can get in that. But these things are just monsters. And the problem is with these panniers is my exit out of here. The bike's got a turn. I don't know if you can see there, there's a garage right here at the top of my gate. So as I go out this gate, I've got to turn and turn straight away. And I can't get through with those on. And I'm trying to think a time where I would use panniers that big. So, what I've done I wanted some soft luggage. So the soft luggage I've got are these, the Lomo medium sized panniers. So what I can do with this lattice webbing on the back, what I've also got here is, I don't know if you can see that grab handle, the grab handle sticks out from the bike. I can't put the soft luggage here because obviously then that's that's the back of my leg there on the seat so I'm gonna have to go off the handle like that my problem is the bottom because I've got nothing to stop the bottom of the bag tipping under now they do a rack they do the metal frame rack to fit this bike. I think the cheapest option is about £199. But to be honest with you, the rack fits on the existing luggage bracket and that sticks out, which comes past these. So even with that rack on, I still won't get round the back. It's too tight. I mean, literally, as I go round the back, I have to watch this side and the exhaust. I mean, I've literally got probably half of an inch gap each side to get round. I mean, you can see here, my hand guards get scuffed. But lucky enough, those are flexible. So it's quite tight around there. So I needed to come up with an idea. One idea I had, which did work, I've tried it, was I got a piece of metal. And what I did, I unscrewed the screws there on the back of the number plate. And I come from around this side and I just put that bar like that. And then I fed this bit inside the bag and it stopped the bag tipping in. But the only thing is I don't want just some open end metal free like that. But I've got some of the footage I've done of me messing about in this shed. I mean, I've spent over a week on this trying to come up with ideas and it's just been absolutely wrecking my head. So here's a bit of an idea of what I've done so far. Right, so I've come up with an idea. So there's the Lomo pannier bags fixed in place and I want them like that slim line when I'm not using them so I can get round the back. But at least now I want them so they're permanently there so I've got storage when I want it. So they're just on with only temporary at the minute. Two straps there. But as you can see it don't stick out and what I've done a little piece of a metal frame and all of them is bent it and it goes through the back of the webbing and it stops at the end of the bag and all that will do is just stop the bottom of the bag swinging underneath I mean at the minute this is just pushed behind the number plate so it's not secure I suppose put a couple of bolts through it and all I'll do is just remove them two bolts if I ever want to take it off. But it clears the exhaust, 
stops the bottoms from getting in. I think I might have sussed it without, without having to use a pannier rack. Right, so here we are, a week later. I've been on this a week, it's been doing me absolute nutting. So, this is where I want to put the panniers. I've got me grab handles, which, as you can see, stick out from the bike. So, I need to put the panniers across there. I couldn't put them there because that's basically that's where my leg is. So, I need to go here. So, that's what's just been called, it called uh, causing me the grief. So, here's what we've got. They fit there fine. But that's my problem. They're swinging underneath at the bottom. So, I've spent all week trying different ideas, different scenarios. And one idea I had, which did work, well, let's just put that up, let's put that up there out the way, was this U-shape metal bar. And what I did, actually I think I've got some footage of it. I put it beyond the number plate where them screws are. So basically that was sitting like that. And all it would do was the bottom of the bag would slide on the bar and it would stop the bag swinging in. I didn't need it to support the weight of the bag because the weight of the bag is, is old here at the top. It's purely just to stop it doing that. I'm not going to have heavy stuff in these bags so the weight's not too much of a problem. But obviously that metal bar there just being free it just didn't it didn't seem right it didn't sit right with me. I then looked at thinking what could I bring a bar across here underneath but the problem is is with the seat I can't get the bar over. I can't get the bar underneath these brackets because it raises this frame and then the seat won't lock. I then thought do I put a bracket underneath just underneath here over to the bars but where it would need to be the line is where this is where this frame connects together so I couldn't I couldn't get to it so everything I was thinking of it just wasn't working I had a bit of a eureka moment I thought, right, well, I've got this. Hold on, let's put some more lighting on. It's a bit dark in here. There we go. So, I thought I've got this for my rear foot peg. And what this bit does, that bit has a rubber on there. And my panniers sit on, and the bottom of the pannier sits over that. Now that's got a little a little bolt on the back, what? The little rubber boot fitted over there and the bolt went in. So I thought, right, could I go off this line up here? So my idea was, I thought if I can go from the edge of this down to this, at least I've got the support. I don't need to support weight just to stop it swinging in, but at least it's attached both ends. The bar's not gonna swing. So this is what I've got. Where is it? So I got a metre length of 20 mil aluminium tube from B&Q. So that was eight pounds. So what I can do, if I follow that line, well, there's the line. So from there, it's going to that little bubble bit, I want to stick it out. There. So it's going on that. So from there to there is the line. So, so that's cost me eight pounds. So I've got these off Amazon. These were four pound eighty. I think. 
got four of these. Basically what these are, they go on your underbar. That's to hold the mirror. But that's 22 mil, so I can put a bit of a rubber insert. So I thought, if I have one of them there, and the other side, if I do a little bracket coming over here, I have one of them there like that, all I've got to do is slide that tube in. And then all I need to do is just slacker these off and I can remove the tube and I don't want it. So I think that's going to be my best option. Obviously this is lightweight, I don't weigh nothing. It's solid, I can't bend it. It's quite, quite tough stuff. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a go at doing this bracket. Just have one there. And then we'll have one. There. Something like that. So we'll try that and we'll see how we go. Look at the state of this in here. Right, I'm ready to start fitting these rails. So I'm just going to drill this hole. I've got my aluminium pole. I've got, which I forgot I'd got, I've got some black wrap. So I'm going to put that on these so it's black. And then we'll try the bags on it. Right, let's get it done. I've had enough of messing about each night in the week. I'm going to get it done, completed today. That's my mission. Right, here we go. There's the first bar. Got some little cap ends in them. Put the, the black plastic wrap on, so that look quite good. That bracket's in place. That bracket's in place. So all I do now is take the tops off the brackets and put them in. So let's try that. I can't do it while I'm holding the camera. Right, so there's the bar. That's the first one on. So all I need to do now is strap the bag there. Clears the exhaust. And actually I can move the bag now up and down that pole. the other side on and we'll see what it's like all together right so that's both bars on they don't look too bad actually that's the bracket that end there we go I've put the black vinyl wrap on it that's the bracket that end and then the same this side so all I've got to do now is just strap these up and we'll see what it looks like. Right, there we go. They are strapped in place. So look at the other side. They look quite good. I like them. The good thing is now, obviously I don't need the top box on, but I can leave those on because the profile now from the side is they don't stick out. So I can leave those on permanent when I go out the back and I've now got permanent luggage on the bike. If ever I did need massive storage, you know, I could use the, the hard luggage and just put it out outside, but that's... I am happy with that. I think that looks good. I think those bars have come out quite good. They don't stand out. Right. Let's fill the panniers and see what it looks like filled. Blah, filled. They are now loaded. just big enough for me to get in any bits I need. I don't need massive panier storage. 
And that is perfect. Something I can permanently leave on the bike. I've just stuffed them with some cushions in at the minute just to see what they're like. Full extended. I might actually still get through the back like that. So from the front, yep, you can't even see them. Lovely jobly. So that's the Lomo medium panniers. They're absolutely amazing. But that is absolutely perfect for what I want. Absolutely perfect. So I've got them secured on here on a strap, which goes underneath there. Then to the other side. So the weight is being supported from the top. So the bars I've put on are just to stop the bag swinging inwards. The bars don't need to carry any weight, but they are strong enough to carry weight. So that is gonna be my setup for Switzerland. I now don't need to use my full size hard luggage. Right, all we need to do now is go and try them out on the road. Right then, so here's the test. Let's see if we can get round the back. I see I have to have my foldable mirrors. Right. So this is what we have to do. We have to have a left turn, we have to get right over, and this is where I scrape my hand guards. Now I can't see behind me, so I don't know actually. Yeah, then we're gonna go. They'll fit. So I have to be careful now of that crash bar bag. And as I get through, it does. It slightly widens up a bit. Okay. And then we've got a post down here. We have to navigate round. Right, so it does, it fits. So at least now I've got panniers. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I haven't caught them. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's go and get some fuel. So I now have permanent storage. I can leave on the bike. I don't need to remove it. And I've also got room for whenever I'm out and I want to buy some it. Or I need to get some shopping. It's there. Storage space. And looking in the mirror, you know, they don't even stick out. So those are the Lomo medium sized panniers. Right, so now we need to get in. Can you see how narrow it is? Now this is the tricky bit. 
is I have to get right over. Once that bag's cleared, I can turn the bars. Now I've just got to watch the back now. Yeah, I'm alright. Perfect. Perfect. I'm happy with that. There we go. So whenever she says go and get some shopping, I can do it. Right, next Sunday we're out for Vic's birthday at the bike cafe. So I'll see you then. Ciao for now.